Afra in an inn. She's sitting at the table writing. As you enter, she puts her quill down, puts her hand round her cup of ale and looks up to talk to you. My design incorporates the architecture of Canterbury, scenes and places that she would have grown up with. She is one of the people and someone I'd love to sit down with and have a chat. She is one of the reasons why I can be a woman in a man's industry. My design incorporates the architecture of the buildings that Afra would have seen as she grew up. The opening lines of To the Fair Clorinda are carved in Afra's handwriting. As you read it, you think to yourself that we are loved because we are more than just women. We should be judged not by our gender, but by our actions. I am a stonemason, not a stonemasonette. There is a window in the shape of an ellipse, and through it you can see her sitting at the table. As you walk anti-clockwise around the outside, there is another wall with a small mullioned window. Beneath that are quatrefoil carvings similar to those under the windows of St Margaret's Church. The walls have the illusion of coin stones and are dressed with napped Kentish flint. You can look through this window and see Afra sitting at her table. You can see shelves in the wall with books stacked up. Some are upright and others are lying on an angle or lying down. There are glasses and bottles on these shelves and objects pertaining to her life. As you finally walk around to the front, the stage is set. Join her if you would like. Just got to refer to my notes for a minute because there's some details. Um, so the practicalities, the sculpture will be carved out of 16 pieces of French limestone. The largest one will weigh 3.2 tonnes and this is the one that I will carve Afra out of. Um, it will also incorporate her table and her chair. Uh, one of the pieces is for the bench that people will be able to sit on. I want this sculpture to be interactive. Um, and 14 other pieces that will make up the two walls. The dimensions of the sculpture will be 2.3 meters by 1.8 meters by 2.24 meters in height. The end and one wall will be carved with a recess so that I can build nap flint into it. So I'll have a depth about that much and then what I'll do is I'll use lime mortar um, to actually create the effect of Canterbury's walls and the, the architecture around Canterbury. Um, one of the walls will have a slight movement in it to look like an open book um, and I will carve lines from To the Fair Clorinda, the, the first few lines of that poem by Afra Ben um, in her handwriting. Um, I would like to organise some flint napping courses. I do know a bit about flint napping but I'd like to get a professional in uh, and I think local people would love to get involved and this is a good way of, of getting local people, local communities, possibly local schools and colleges involved. So the project becomes a community project as well. It's a very physical task um, and I think it will be a really fun thing for people to become involved in. Um, in terms of the stonemasonry side of it, obviously I'm very capable. I trained as a stonemason at Gloucester Cathedral, but I also did sculpture at university. I trained at the college uh, next to Solly's Orchard, in fact, and I had a design that I'd love to have put in Solly's Orchard when I finished my degree. Sadly, uh, my art department is now houses. Um, Solly's Orchard, I think, would be quite a good place to have it. And my sculpture is, I want it to look like a stage. I want it to be an interactive people and I want people to feel like they can go and sit down and they can chat with Afra. I also think it might be a good place to stage plays. Um, so you could actually use it to incorporate into the scenery um, and put, put some of her plays on maybe actually in open air, which would be quite good fun. Um, so I grew up in Staple a small village outside Canterbury. I did my degree in sculpture at Christchurch College, as I mentioned at the St Peter's Road Centre. Um, and then I moved to Gloucestershire in 1999 to train as a stonemason at Gloucester Cathedral. I did my work experience at Canterbury Cathedral and I spent four weeks in the works yard there. Sadly, the apprenticeship had been earmarked for somebody else, um, but it did give me the opportunity to move away and grow and develop my own style, um, learn from some amazing stonemasons, and I've had an extraordinary career so far. If I got this commission, I would actually move back to Canterbury because I feel like I would like to involve as many of the local schools and colleges. I think it's incredibly important to get people involved, especially at an early age in stone carving, to help to bring on and develop the tradition. I may even find my own apprentice, which is something I would love to do.